Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to the Scan Tool Network. In this video, uh, we're just taking a look at the X Tool D8 on an Audi vehicle. We have a few warning lights flashing and static on the uh, the dashboard here. Um, so we're just going to do a quick demonstration of the X-Tool D8 actually diagnosing and resetting these faults. Um, if you are interested in this tool, just use the link in the description below this video. That will take you to the genuine and official listing. Uh, there are fakes and there are clones and they can damage vehicles, so it's just not worth going down that route. Um, but that being said, it's a very good tool providing you've got the, uh, the genuine and official product. Um, so what I'm going to do is... Um, I will click on the auto scan button. No, I won't. I'll click on the diagnostics button, and it gives you an idea of the like the manufacturers that it covers. Um, but obviously, all we're interested in this video is the Audi. It's a 2016 Audi A6 that we're just going to uh, show you here. So you can click on to system selection, and you do full system diagnosis so it gives you an idea of all of the systems that it will cover so it will literally cover every system within your specific vehicle and there are lots to look at there are lots of systems in these newer vehicles um, it's all like electronically operated and they all have like ECUs and their own little body computers for each system so there's like hundreds of these little systems um, but okay all we're really interested in is showing you the systems for these three faults okay so the flashing glow plug like this one here that indicates an engine electrical fault now it is commonly misdiagnosed as a glow plug fault but it can be a glow plug fault at times um, but it generally it, it generally means an engine electrical fault so if we click into the engine electronics And we'll just go read trouble code. It's giving us two codes which are like communication failures. These are like U codes. Uh, but this is the third one here. This is the one that we we'll want to look at. Um, I'm not we haven't really gone into these faults in great detail, to be honest with you. Um, so we need to look at these in greater detail. But the, the one which is causing the flashing glow plug light is this one here, the cylinder one open circuit. Um, so that has been sorted, it has been fixed, so we're just going to click on a clear trouble code. No, click on that one, clear trouble code, and keep an eye on the flashing glow plug light when I click yes here. The code has been cleared, and the flashing glow plug light has gone. So that's, in essence, how the diagnostics works. You know, you diagnose the fault, you fix the fault, and then you clear the fault. Um, so if we go into a different system now, the brake electronics, which is the ABS warning light here, that's where that lives. Again, we're probably going to get a communication fault code, like the U code, because it's coming up in every module at the minute. So that's these ones here. Don't worry about these. Um, oh, actually, this is not giving us any fault with regards to the ABS system, which is strange. Not sure why it's doing that. Um, hmm. I mean, we know what the fault is because we simulated this fault. It was a we unclipped the connection for the uh, the ABS sensor, so it should really give us a fault saying like something to do with the front right ABS sensor. Um, so strange. Okay, so well, let's assume that it had told us. I guess I guess that probably needs to be reported to. X tool to fix which I will do but let's go and clear trouble code and it has cleared the fault code that's fine but that's you know that's all very well assuming you know what the fault was if you diagnose this fault for the first time you'd probably be a little bit stuck because you don't really know what the fault is so that is that's very uncommon for this tool actually um, I've diagnosed a lot of ABS faults on this particular tool and we've it's always given us like a specific bit of information so um, that'll probably need reporting to XTool which I will do uh, it's not a problem at all but let's just assume um, it gave you the fault there and then you went through and cleared the trouble code and you'd fixed the fault that's that's essentially how it works so again it's like diagnose the fault fix the fault reset the fault so Let's just say that one was a little bit of an anomaly there. Um, and we'll go through to the last one, which is the airbag light, which is that one there. Um, airbag, let's see if this one gives us specific information. 
to the engine fault give us specific information so I'm curious now as to, as to where this will yes this is giving us specific information so that is the U code that we were that I was telling you about before like just ignore those but the one we're looking at is the B100A1B fault which is the front passenger side airbag and again that's a fault that we simulated we unclipped the connection for the for the airbag system so um, that's something that we can uh, repair, uh, clear ourselves and again it just to show you in the real world the airbag light is there clear the trouble code the code has been cleared this takes a second to turn off there we go that has turned off which is really good so lots of systems lots of manufacturers it covers um, this tool isn't actually sold by Diagnostic World directly uh, it, it, the the sellers on Amazon so the, the genuine listing is actually on Amazon um, so it'll, the, that's where the link will take you to they'll take you to the Amazon listing okay um, but we do they do send us these tools in order to uh, do like short videos on them every now and again uh, which we do because they are very good tools um, X tool of the brand which is like kind of on the up because previously they when they first started developing tools they weren't that good and they've, they've really really upped their game in the last few years and they've produced like the D7, the D8, the D9 which I'm also going to do short videos on as well um, so yeah it's a good package this one um, do your homework on it though see whether it's going to be suitable for you and your needs or not um, but we we like this tool we like the we like the whole d range um the d7 d8 and d9 and there's also like a new im it's like 608 or 618 something like that which we're going to do a few videos on as well okay but anyway if you are interested like i say use the link in the description below this video thanks for watching and i hope it helps